Since our last video update, the weather's obviously got colder and wetter, but that hasn't stopped our preparation for the Great Ocean Road Marathon. The anticipation's building, it's getting really exciting. Uh, everyone's getting involved. It seems like there's lots of people out training. The local school is providing help on the day, so we're really, really looking forward to it. I had a knee operation on the 20th of March and I've been back in action now for about two and a half weeks. We're plodding along nice and slowly, but we, we think we'll get there. I have done an event that incorporated 22 kilometres and uh, been doing uh, up to about 15 k's I've got to now, so I'm happy. It's one of the ways to get uh, Tommy out, is to run together. Um, so we're looking to, um, to run together and potentially I might even run on the day with him. Sammy, our youngest one, you may recall, she's uh, getting a few runs in in between her cartwheels and handstands, which is all the rage at the moment, and her, her one's 1500, so I think she'll be fine. So Olivia, the middle child, she's done the regional cross country yesterday and came third in her race. That was 2k, not quite six, but plenty left in the tank for Liv, so she'll be good too, I'd say. Yeah. Watch out. <laughs> We've started our own fundraising page, the Terry Tallis uh, fundraising page, and we're aiming to raise $2,000 before the Great Ocean Road Marathon uh, in aid of uh, the Health Foundation. And we're looking forward for a few more donations from family and friends and so forth. So go to the page of uh, the Great Ocean Road Marathon and click on the, favorite, on the preferred charity there and please donate because it's what it's all about. Make sure you get yourself your entries in and dust your running shoes off and get training. So we'll see you on the Great Ocean Road.